If a cookie is made out of cake, is it still a cookie? Define cookie. What is a cookie? I, I don't know. I've had cookies that are cakey. You know what I mean? Both cake and cookies are delicious treats. Why choose? Why don't I just make giant cookie cakes? Today I'm gonna cake three cookies by Megan, who is one of our dessert artists here in How to Cake It. And I'm gonna cake these beautiful cookies. To make these cakes, I wanted them to be as colorful, cause let's face it. I mean, I love a sugar cookie, but they're really just beige. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to make the inside of the cake beige. So what I decided to do is use some of the colors in the decoration and dye my cake batter those colors. Once my cakes were baked, cooled, and chilled, I leveled them, removed the caramelization from the bottom, and then I layered each cake into three thin layers. I actually cut them as thin as I possibly could. So now I have nine layers. Three layers of purple, three layers of red, and three layers of pink cake. Now I need to simple syrup all nine layers of this cake. The next thing I'm going to do is use the templates I made of the sort of larger size of these cookies to roughly cut out the shape I'm gonna need. I want them to be bigger than they truly are because this way I can cut the perfect shape once the cake is filled. Each cake is going to have one of each color. So first I use my first heart template to cut out a rough heart of each color, the second heart template to do the same, and then I have this rectangular, what do you call like a like a slanted rectangle? A rhombus? Is that what a rhombus is? Isn't that the little circle machine that cleans the floor? Yeah, no, it's not a Roomba. A rhombus, let me just check. Quadrilateral, so that's four sides. Oh, they all have to have the same length? That's basically a diamond. I, I quit, who do I have to talk to? Anyway, whatever, look at it. It's a rectangle, but with slanted sides. All of this to say that. All of it to say that. I just wanted to sound professional. And now I'm going to fill and stack these cakes with a thin layer of Italian meringue buttercream between. Those white lines are gonna look so nice between this colored cake. So first I stack together the first heart, the second heart, and then of course my rectangle with slanted sides. A rhombus. It's not a rhombus. A rhombus is basically a diamond. Why don't they just call it a diamond? Nobody plays cards and is like, do you have any rhombuses? No, it's a dot. Look, honestly, Google rhombus, all of the pictures are diamonds. I don't get it. Why do we have to complicate this? So now I filled and stacked the cakes. I'm gonna put them in the fridge to chill, let that buttercream set up. My three cakes are chilled and now I'm going to use my templates to cut out the perfect shape. So I'm gonna cut out two perfect hearts and then of course the rectangle with slanted sides. The next thing, of course, that I need to do is crumb coat and chill all three of these cakes now that you have the perfect shape. Megan will be teaching the Love Bites cookie set on February 9th. So if these cookies look great to you, you can totally sign up and join her and learn how to make them. And she's making the Galactic Love Set tonight, January 26th. So there's a couple of hours to sign up and make these cookies. In her classes, Megan gives you all her tips and tricks for decorating sugar cookies with royal icing. You don't need any cookie cutters. She walks you through the whole process step by step. You can join one of Megan's classes and a lot of other classes using the link below. They are all available at howtokeekit.com. Or you can just click here and check out all of our classes. So now I'm going to ice these cakes with another thin layer of Italian meringue buttercream and chill. When you ice these cakes, it doesn't need to be a heavy ice, but you do want to make sure, especially on the sides, that the cake is nice and smooth. Now it's time to cover these cakes with fondant and I have another exciting fondant color that I've made. I'm gonna call it like sugar cookie flesh tone. It's really exciting, vibrant. It's the opposite of vibrant. You know what they say, sugar cookie flesh tone is the new black. <laughs> Did they say that actually? They're going to say it now. If you agree with me, type it in below. Let's show them all. We're gonna start the trend. Somebody has to start the trend, right? What I'm going to do is roll my fondant nice and thin. Always measure your cakes, measure the width, measure the length, and then roll your fondant larger than that. 
drape it over your cake and now you wanna carefully smooth the fondant. I'm using a fondant smoother to help me really smooth the top and then of course along the sides, trimming away any excess at the bottom. Now this is one cake that if there's any imperfections in the fondant, it's actually okay because a sugar cookie, the dough doesn't always bake like perfectly smooth. So if you had some fine cracks or anything like that, it would actually be okay. You can relax and I rarely say that. In Megan's class, she teaches you how to color your royal icing beautifully and apply it to the cookies in order to decorate them. But remember, these are cakes. So what I'm going to do is color a bunch of fondant to the colors I need and then roll them all out into thin sheets that I will cut and apply to the cake. Okay, so I have a few shades of pink, some red, some purple, some peach, white. I'm gonna roll it all out and lay it on cake boards. And then what I need to do is further cut up my templates in order to cut out these colors. I'm gonna handle one cookie at a time. So for the ugh, heart cookie, I have rolled out all the colors I need except for the black, I'll get to that later. And I'm gonna cut out the main part of the heart, the sort of shadow of the heart, and then of course the letters and the period. For the Love Bites cookie, I am cutting out, I don't know what to call it, this upper banner of red, the lower banner of pink, and then of course the letters, Love Bites. I often love it when it works out that I could use letter cutters to cut my letters, but this font is too specific, so what you need to do is carefully cut each letter out of your template, hold it onto your fondant, and then cut each letter out. If your fondant is really soft, you should definitely mix some CMC into it or some gum paste into it or use straight up gum paste. Do you think there are cake people and cookie people who are like constantly, you know, at war with each other? No. Or like look look down at each other? Oh, that's a cookie. Oh, like she, she's, she makes cookies. I don't know. Maybe they could like start to just throw cake and cookies at each other. Okay, cookies would win. Yeah, because, because they would Because some hurt. cookies are yeah. actually really, really hard. <laughs> Well, I'll just throw stale cakes. I'll keep them, let them really dry out. You know, make like a giant slingshot. There's some cakes that I've made that I would enjoy destroying. Chip, giant apple pie, Lloyd, I'd gladly slingshot all of those cakes into a field. A girl can dream, a girl can dream. For the Galactic Love Cookie, this one is probably the most complex. It has the most colors and little piped patterns. I rolled out all these colors. I used the pieces of my template to cut them out and that was fun. You know what this reminded me of? The Peppa Pig boots. Oh, the, add, that to the, add that to the slingshot list. And it's great because it's two cakes. I would slingshot each boot separately. I think you like all cookies. Because really you even like done. oatmeal cookies. Oh, here he goes. Oatmeal cookies are delicious. The last time we had this argument in your giant cookies, yeah. um, Yolanda brought an oatmeal cookie to set and I lost it. Like it was so amazing. But that was like a gourmet oatmeal cookie with probably like drugs in it. So I don't really have like... <laughs> you think I laced the cookie to make you agree with me. <laughs> this, is, this is how far you think I would go. So now I've applied the, you know, the colored sheets of fondant to each cake and they're in place. It's time to add the details. So for these kind of details, which I want to look piped, I'm going to use my clay extruder. So I've clay extruded some black fondant and I will add this beautiful outline to the cookie. For the Love Bites, I clay extruded some of this sort of burgundy tone fondant to add these lines. And I almost forgot, I added the lines on each corner. I almost didn't notice that she has them piped here between the letters. But thank goodness I noticed before I needed my fondant back up. And then this cookie, so I clay extruded fondant to make these piped circles and these piped crosses. <laughs> For the dots, instead of like trying to roll tiny little dots of fondant, I used a How to Cake It sprinkle blend and I picked out white dragées and purple dragées. The cookies are beautiful, they're colorful inside, they're tasty, they're so much fun. I also ate some of Megan's cookies. The verdict is both cake and cookies are great.
And if you want more cake, click here. <laughs>